Hmm. Good morning, guys and gals. I'm Paladin, and welcome back to Pikmin. Last episode, we got three ship parts in the Forest of Hope. And in this, today, <laughs> I have to get used to that. Today, we are not going to the Forest of Hope again, because I took a look at it, and we can only get one part. One of the parts is only accessible if we can traverse water, which is interesting. And the other one is also only available if we can go through water with our Pikmin. So, we will not be doing going there today. Instead, we're going to the new area we unlocked. And that is the Forest Naval. The uh, Forest Belly Button. Uh, hopefully, Olimar will explain why he named that. Now, this episode is actually kind of special because... This episode, and this episode, hopefully only, is a semi-blind episode. Why? You're probably wondering, because, yeah, I've played through this entire game. I've beaten it at least once. Why is it semi-blind? Well, it's because my vision is kind of blurry. <laughs> so, in the literal sense, it's semi-blind. My vision is blurry because my allergies are really bad. So, if there's something that I completely miss, just write it off to my allergies. So... Let's go into the forest naval, shall we? That sounds really weird. Land in this region? You bet I will. Sorry about that, I was just checking on the volume just to make sure everything was fine. Now, let's jump on in. So, I have no idea what the order of operations is going to be for the Forest Naval. All I know is that I really have a, um, I guess you could call it a love-hate relationship, but I like to say that I respect this area. This area is the place where I got stumped as a child, and where I stopped playing for years. So, I have great respect for this, and I will not... I will not be complacent in this area. I will never tap to attack. So, let's go ahead and get all of our reds. Good boys. Now, let's get only 20 yellows out. Because we don't really need them this episode. So, 20. And besides that, we're going to be doing something really special. Okay, uh, right off. Let's look at our map. Not that. Why? There. There. Uh, we have a ship part here, which seems, doesn't seem accessible because there's water. Those, those lines are water, by the way. This one is a gear that we can get now. There's one in the middle, but I know that one will take a little bit of effort to get. There's one over there. Now, these two topmost stars are, they, these ship parts are within bosses. So, those will probably be gotten last, and when we've beaten most of the the rest of the area so that those will be set off set aside for last um these we cannot get yet we cannot traverse water this one i think we can get now okay so let's go to that star and that star first okay let's go that would be um this way go ahead and jump off let's go ahead and jump off here and go around here. This area is really, really... Get up. This area is really brutal. And right there you can see that is what is called a bread bug. Those will grab treasure that while you're carrying it and try to take it from you. There is a way to deal with them, and that is to simply throw Pikmin on top of them. Though it is kind of hard, especially in... In Pikmin 1. Though if you can get him stationary like this, you can really start doing damage. In fact, I'm going to try and kill him now. Come on. Come on. He is necessary to get... There we go. Ow. Oh. He is necessary to get a ship part. No. I'm not going to get him. Okay, it... Another, there is an easy way of killing him. Man, I, I kind of made a mess here. There is an easy way to kill him, and I will do that. And they already grabbed the gear. There they are. Okay, let's... 
let's buy all the gear. I found the automatic gear. This thing chugs right along its, at its own pace. It makes piloting much easier, giving me time to concentrate on the finer, finer points of space travel, such as drinking tea. He didn't actually say the tea part. I, I added that. Okay. Now, we want to watch this gear to make see if the bread bug will come, because this is kind of our bait for the bread bug. Wherever he is, hopefully he will be... Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Okay, yeah, he'll, he'll, he's coming. He sees it. Okay, you can do that. Whatever. There. Okay, he's going to grab it, and what he is going to happen... Come on, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn... No! Ah. Jerk. I was hoping he'd take the bait. Dumb guy. Okay, go ahead and grab the gear. I have no idea whether that is required or not. I will put it on screen when we collect it, as I've been doing for all the other parts. Now, for the other area, we let's put... Let's put, like, 20 Pikmin on that. And then let's move along... And if this guy will be nice... No, he's just patrolling. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going... Get up. We're going to dismiss everyone up here. Dismiss. And we'll s get the treasure. Or the, the ship part. That can be actually kind of annoying. Automatic gear. It has thin cracks running through it. I tried to fill them in, in with dirt. I hope it'll be alright. In Dirt? Ugh. That's going to be very bad. His mechanic's going to frown. So, without further ado, we will see that there's a new onion! This is the third and last type of Pikmin in the game, the blue Pikmin. And as you can see, that's in water. These are the Pikmin that will allow you to traverse water. So, let's go ahead and kind of hurry. Okay, come on. There we go. And there they are! There's the blue Pikmin! It has a mouth! It is a Pikmin of yet another color. Near this one's cheeks is what, appear is what appears to be a set of gills. This trait suggests to me that this blue type of Pikmin can enter the water without any trouble whatsoever. There's only one way to find out. Yeah, also he's... it's in the water. So, yeah. I think that's a good indicator of its ability to swim. Okay, come on. No, 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 no! Good, dude, get him! There. Pull it, pull it, pull it! Kill him! Yeah, kill him! Kill! Okay, kill him! Yeah! No! Kill him! Yes! There's our next treasure! Sweet! Thank goodness, my space float! This float is an absolutely is an absolute necessity for any pilot who lacks skill at swimming in, in space. Um, I'm guessing, just off the top of my head, just I'm taking a wild guess here, that that part is not required. Just, just a guess. Okay, let's grab our blue Pikmin and continue what we were doing, and that is carry that. And while that happens, let's set our reds on the space float. Uh, not the pellet posy. The space float. And there we are. And my vision is getting very foggy. <laughs> I really need a squeegee. Okay, you you go on that. You got, They're carrying that. It's actually really safe normally. If they're up on this... Uh, if they're up on this center part here... I'll, f I'll fill the screen with it. If they're on this, they're actually relatively safe. It is the other areas that you... Especially here and here that you really need to worry about. Those are the dangerous areas. Okay, you go on... That. And I'll grab your buddies. And set them on this the other pellet posy. And you can see in the background... You can see in the background, there is the next treasure. That is one of the Ionium Jets. There are two identical treasures called the Ionium Jet. 
and they just go on either side of the, chi the ship. Okay, grab you, and throw you, and you guys. And let's grab these, and then we can get the five pellet, then we can get the Ionium jet, and get three parts in one day. If we could get four, that'd be amazing, because I noticed there's a trend now that we've been the we've been getting the number of parts that is the episode number, or the day. So like day three, we got three parts. Day two, we got two. Day one, we got one. So if we could get four, that'd be amazing. Okay, let's go ahead and pluck these. Okay. Grab these. Okay, grab these, and we're good. Okay, now that we have 18, 19, 19 blues, now we can go over here, turn, take a 180, and then, no, <sighs> come here. That's one thing that I don't like about this area, is that it doesn't have rails, so you can just get Pikmin separated really easily. Okay, just go over here, uh, fall down. Yeah, that, that's how you do it. And Ionium Jet number one. The number one Ionium Jet. Unfortunately, this puts this puts out a slightly odoriferous exhaust, but it does propel me to escape velocity in a second. The stench is a small price to pay for such performance. So, this is actually not required, I'm pretty sure. Which is strange, because this is basically, you know, the stabilizers, but... One of the stabilizers, but apparently you don't need that. And instead, you need the extraordinary bolt. Okay. So, let's look at our map. Uh, I'm not going to get used to that. Let's look at our map. Okay, that's second, third. We'll be able to get that one. Yeah, so let's, let's do that one now. That makes sense. Okay, let's grab our other Pikmin, which are straight ahead. We have yellows. And let's go ahead and grab our other reds, because we're going to need a lot of Pikmin to kind of fight our way over there. There are... There's a... Have we seen them before? I don't think we have, so I'll, I'll say that they're new. We have the, uh... Uh, the Fiery Blowhog over there that is... Annoying, to say the least. You can't just ignore him like some enemies. Space Float. An excellent swimmer like me has no need for something like this. But my motto is, always be prepared. Really, it's just for emergencies. I've now, now recovered 8 of 30 parts. We're almost a third through the game. If I can find just 4 more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Good to know. Okay, uh... It'd be really nice to have this down. Okay, can I go around? Yes, I can. Let's go ahead and grab the reds and set them on that gate. I know that we're going to go for our the other part. However, we we really need this done. So, get up. If you fall one more time, I'm calling you what your name is. No! You guys, those are for the blue... Uh, whatever. Uh, you... Do that. Okay. Uh, I, I accidentally skipped past that text, and that was basically saying that the Pikmin are not carrying it anywhere because they need this gate to be down. You guys could probably pause the video where that text was, and you could read it then. So, they're going to tear this down, hopefully. Since the reds are better fighters, I'm not sure if that that applies to the gates as well. I would assume that it would. So, if you're trying to take down a gate, reds are the way to go. Are you going to take it down? Anytime soon. Anytime soon. Come on. There you go. Okay, there are the, there are the jet. There's the jet. Okay, you guys, come here. I'm going to flower you, and then we'll go on our way. Or flower four of you. Come on. There we go. One thing I gotta say is that in this game, Pikmin are a little bit slow to be called. They're just kind of like, oh, wait, what? You're talking to me? Oh, oh, just, just a second. Oh, no, 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 no. Forgot what they're called, but they're evil. They're basically sheer grubs that'll fly and heal themselves. If they grab one of your Pikmin, that Pikmin is will die, even if you kill the sheer grub before it's dead. So, as soon as this unpauses, because this is slightly annoying, I will deal with that sheer grub. 
If this if this is damaged, I'll be in dire straits. I'll have to run a, si a system check on it as soon. Okay. Nine of thirty. Duh. Okay. Um, kill him. There we go. Good. We killed him. They will heal themselves. So you you really want to kill them. Okay. He started to fly, but that that was good. There's one more. Kill him before he causes trouble. And now for the fiery blowhogs. Oh, there's one more. They will blow out fire. That hurts you. It doesn't hurt the reds because they're immune to fire. But it will hurt the yellows. Swarm him before he dies. I mean, before he blows the fire. Ow. And there will be some Pikmin on fire here. There we go. Okay, you can just whistle them before they cause a problem. So, you... Ow. Man, them just shaking it really hurts. And... Dead. Good. Okay. Let's set you on that. And let's grab you. And swarm them again. And you want to be careful when fighting these guys too, because they will they will um throw your pikmin into the water so you want to be careful of that let's go ahead and go home well not home but let's go to um let's go to um base yeah base oh uh, let's grab these guys which are done building the downwards bridge now there's a fun there's a weird glitch that occurs in the wii version of this game that if the Pikmin are underneath the bridge, sometimes they will die. They will fall through the ground and die. So, if you're playing on the Wii version, you will want to avoid that and not have your Pikmin under bridges. Just simple as that. It's really easy, just avoid that. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our blues while the others are doing what, they're, what they do best. There are a bunch of pellet posies over there, but really, I don't find one's worth it. And, you know, they're just not worth it. Okay, so let's run down, and we can quickly join our friends over there. You come here. Uh, we can leave them there. We'll just try to remember. Uh, that is a flint beetle. A iridescent flint beetle, I believe. Uh, if you throw Pikmin on top of that, it, it'll get nectar, but... Where am I going? It's kind of a waste of time, I think. And, yeah. Okay, I'm going to throw you on that. No. That. Oh! You're you're trying to do what you did in uh, the other Pikmin LP, aren't you? Steve, get over here. Yes, I'm I'm sorry, Mr. Chugga Conroy, but really, he was trying it again. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, just search Chugga Conroy Steve L LP catchphrases and you'll get it. Okay, take that down, please. I don't think we're going to be getting the another ship part today. However, I do think that we're going to get, uh, we're going to pave the way to get it tomorrow. I think tomorrow we, we'll be well on our way to getting another set of three ship parts, which is really good because I think we have. No, we don't have twelve, but we have nine, so we're we're doing very well. Having nine ship parts by day four, that's pretty good. No, no, get. The damage to my spacesuit is approaching its limits. The safest course of action would be to return to the dolphin at once and repair my suit. F to do so, I need to st stand in front of the sh dolphin and press A. Uh, if only repairing if if only repairing my ship were as simple as pressing a simple button. Okay. Uh. Oh man. No. Oh. That really stunk. Uh. Let's not get in fire. No. Oh my word. Oh my word. I died. I died. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? I died? Why? I didn't even touch the fire. Um, wow. Uh, oh wow, that... I mean, I think I've died before in a Pikmin, but maybe once or twice before. That really stinks. 
four days since impact. I've been careless, sustaining damage beyond beyond my spacesuit's limits. My crisis tra my crisis transport system saved me, but I lost all of the Pikmin I had with me. I must pay closer attention and closer mind to my spacesuit damage meter in the bottom left corner of the screen. I can press A by the dolphin to repair my suit. Okay, um, I'm not taking this. I'm going to meet you back to where I have finished, uh, where I was before. I'll be right back. Don't save. Continue from last save. Alright, I think we're close to where we were. Uh, let's go on the outside this time in order to avoid death. Uh, I think I'm a little bit ahead of where I was, which... I know you could say it's cheating, but... Oh, snap, we need blue. Um, we need to go back and get blue. I doubt we're going to make it in time, but whoa. There's stuff down there. Oh, cool. The Pikmin that are carrying our spoils seem to be milling, ma uh, mill milling about in one place with their loads. It appears that their path back to the Onion is blocked, and faced with what seems to be an insurmountable ox obstacle, they have lost their focus. This is unacceptable. I'll have to determine what is blocking their way and do what I can to resolve the problem. So, the situation, real quick, is... I... I started off the day exactly like I did in the thing before. Um, that is the float right there. That is the Pikmin taking down the bridge. That is the Ionium jet. Yeah, that's the Ionium jet. And the red Pikmin are taking down the gate. And meanwhile, I was trying to make some headway on the treasure behind us. But apparently I need blue, which I think I knew before, but... No matter. I, I think we're going to get the same amount of work done that we did before I tied. And that was just horrible. That was unacceptable, too. If, if I have a death, I will redo the day. Possibly. It, it does depend on the death, but... You know, I, I would want to redo the day just because death is not an option here. So, let's go ahead and go up this... And, yeah, it looks like they're done with the Ionium Jet, so let's go ahead and whistle back our reds. And we want them around because we want them to be, we want them to carry the treasure because there's fire. So, let's put some Pikmin back until we have 30. Oh, we already have 30, okay. Oh, wait, no, we didn't. Okay. So let's go ahead and pick, pluck these Pikmin while we wait for the two treasures to come back. I will show on screen what... they. No, I'm not going to show on screen what they are because I've already done that. I mean, whether or not they're required. Sorry for the sniff there. That was involuntary. My allergies. Space flow. And the Ionium Jet. Which, I don't think I read this. Did I? I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, I, I, I read that. Okay. Let's go ahead and make... Let's run. Like the Dickens chickens. We're going to go and grab those reds because we were, will not be close to there again. They made barely any headway, but they made some headway. Come here. Okay. We have all 87, so nothing can go wrong. So let's go ahead and go back to where we were. I'm not going to fast forward because that's fast forwardings for wimps. Get up! Sheesh. There's a name for the Pikmin that slow up the group too. It's it's Bob. I, I'm not making this up. This is from another LP here. Um, he named Pikmin Blue Pikmin that slow up the group Bob. No, he named Pikmin in general that slow up the group Bob and get up. And he named um, Blue Pikmin Joe. So, I'm not going to be calling them... No! 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 Okay, I lost four there. Okay, I lost a good deal, but I am going to accept it. I'm sorry. But I, I'm just going to accept that death is part of life. I really apologize for that. That really stunk. I found my analog computer. This computer con conveys the kind of vague data that falls outside the range of ones and zeros. Actually, to be honest, it's a little bit too vague, but it isn't, so it isn't very helpful. 
So let's go and grab that. It's beeping, which is neat. Can we go up this way? No, we can't. Okay. So once this is out of the water, we'll whistle everyone. Take them over here. Dismiss them. Get the camera to work for us. Whistle them. I don't know why I went that close. And let's set as many as you can on this computer. Analog computer. Okay, we have 38 or more. And let's follow the computer. We might get it back. Get up, please, sir. Actually, I, I always thought of the, um, of the blue Pikmin being girls. Because they have the lips, right? And it looks like they're wearing lipstick. So, I don't know. I always pictured them as girls. Okay, let's go up ahead to clear the way. Get over here. I don't want to lose you guys, too. Okay, if we can just distract this... Actually, no, he do, he won't even harm the treasure. Because it's red Pikmin. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. So, we might be able to get all the treasures in. Okay, while they're doing that, we might be able to get four treasures today. Or, shit parts. Okay, let's go ahead and bypass this guy completely. Run. Okay, uh, Pikmin did, did die much faster from fire. And we want to whistle that guy. He's not going to be able to make it. They're close, but... Run! Ugh. We're kind of under some heavy fire here. No pun intended. Okay, bring it as far as you can. Three. A two. A one. Whistle. Zero. We... We... We got basically three and a half parts today. That's really good, man. Because these days are sh so short, they're kind of action-packed, which I I'm liking this. Because in Skyward Sword, we don't really get to see... I mean, we get to see action, but not every episode. And in Pikmin, there's kind of action every episode. So I'm, I'm kind of excited about this. Let's blast off. Oh, that is a Wally Wog, and we're going to be hating that enemy soon. Four days since impact. Let's see the in the journal entry that. Deep in the cave, I discovered in the forest, I encountered blue Pikmin. These blue fellows have something resembling gills on their cheeks, and they appear to be amphibious, surviving both in water and on land. The wonders of nature never cease to stun me. Even in this alien land. Whew. We, lo we have lost eight Pikmin today. Eight Pikmin to fire. That That's just bad. It's better than the death, but I, I still no I'm still not proud of that. I just didn't anticipate de the Pikmin being consumed by the fire that fast. So we've lost 16 Pikmin in total. Hopefully it won't be any more. We have 91 red Pikmin, 51 blue and 33, uh, 51 yellow and 33 blue. We have nine chip parts, 21 parts remain, and 26 days remaining to get them all. Next tomorrow, <laughs> I'm still not used to that. Tomorrow, we will probably continue the forest naval. It's brutal, I know, but we are probably going to continue. We have one part that we can just write off. And the, for, as for the others, we'll find out then. So, I release a new video game episode every single day except for Sunday. I love being able to say that. And this next Pikmin video will be released on Monday... Uh, Sorry, Pikmin is released on Mondays, uh, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So, I'll see you on one of those days for another Pal Plays Pikmin. Good night. Save.